Right now, I would like to focus on the customization of UI. You can see here that, for example, if I will create new 3D model right now, and if I would like to found, for example, inside patch, the system can found me. But system don't show me where it is placed because it was added as the obsolete feature you remember from the previous tutorial. I've got a question from you. How is possible to found this option in different language? For example, German, Russian or Chinese. Because in English it's inside patch, but if you ask me how it's spell it in different languages, sorry, I don't know. But I can show you how you can customize the UI for you. So you can select right mouse button here, it's best practice, and customize the ribbon, because this one is ribbon, yeah, everything here. And you would like to customize the existing ribbon. And you can see here, for example, that you can create the additional, for example, tabs, or you can create custom groups, and so on. So, for example, I'd like to create here my custom group. So you can select, for example, that you would like to apply it in the middle, model model tab and you can create new group you can specify where the group will be placed so you can move it a little bit doesn't matter for example here and in right mouse button is possible to rename you can specify for example like want for case side is okay it's the name of the custom group and over here you can place any kind of the map keys or icons or features but the question is how to found it over here you have a more commands or all modes or anything so you can have a look for example all commands and the system will show you all commands over here you can see that for example this feature do not have a really good icon Many times it's because it's an obsolete feature or it's something what was not so often used. And again, this feature, blend between surface pad, blend from file or blend section to surface is obsolete. So I can add this obsolete feature to my new... Oops, sorry, you can see that I have created something inside. So no problem, you can remove it and put it back. You can select and again you can choose for example place it here and again place brand from fly but from surfaces and black section okay perfect so you can see that everything was defined here and the system will show you additional drop down menu automatically because this feature is based on the drop down menu and again you can have a look and go through the features and you can found what you want and again be careful base it on this icon and you know that is the obsolete and you can see where it store it's more command design part and so on so for example you can place it there oops sorry again i moved it in wrong group so i like to put it there or select what you want so we can place what is really great, you can use the right mouse button here and for example I like to use this inside patch as the huge icon so you can for example use the large button and then will be automatically the big one like this one. Yeah. And so you can move any feature or you can create as, again your custom something like menus, drop downs and so on so it's about your arranging you can use where the mode will be placed either in the current mode in the all tabs or where you would like to so try to play with the mode and tabs a little bit and you will create your custom ribbon definition properties and so on and you don't need to looking for for some feature what you are using so often if you come from OK the system will write automatically the modified information in the UI. If you close the Creo and you run Creo one more time, and if you will create again a new 3D model, the system will remember the, your visualization of your icon position and everything. 
I hope so that this first introduction to the Creo customization was interesting for you. Please stay tuned, follow my YouTube channel, like the video and donate for new microphone kit. Thank you very much and bye bye. Vladimir.